Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of LME 3-month nickel and zinc. I'll start with LME 3-month nickel. Now, yet again, when I look at this daily chart, I realize once again that the same basic drivers are still moving this market, despite the occasional hiccup. The rock of certainty is still anchored on the same few patterns. The middle time, currently 17275, and the upper time, currently 2775, of the big 2017-2018 shallow bullish shift pitchfork. The upper time has been especially significant three weeks ago, when the top of the market was capped by the upper time to the point. I also recognize the recent roll the middle time currently 20060 of the October 2020 to March 2021 bullish shift pitchfork has played in showing the more recent bullish angle of attack. Now I can only quote once again what I said now some ooh, 10 weeks ago and I quote whilst these two pitchforks are in operation this market will still have the bullish incentive even if it sometimes looks like it is missing, end of quote. Now this has gone a long way to mitigating the action we've seen over the last two weeks, notably the wannabe key reversal down two Fridays ago that ended up being just an indecisive spinning top, but which had a follow-on lower at the beginning of last week. All these recent moves lower, I suspect, are directly related to the touch and go the market made with the upper time of the old, big old, 2017-2018 bearish shift pitchfork. So the question I posed last week is, what now? Well, prices this week have moved up and down roughly between the flatlining short stroke medium moving average overhead, currently 19,250, and the rising medium moving average below, currently 18,655. It is not perfect, but it gives an idea of what the main action has been. However, with all these moves during September, we have the opportunity, as I put it last week, perhaps a seminal moment here. If prices should move lower, below 18,345, then we may have the criteria with just a few days to go for a possible monthly key reversal for September. So let's say we manage to make a low below 18,345 and then to close the, on Thursday the 30th, either over 19,600 or under 19,570. A quite narrow range, I'm sure you will agree. If we close either side of those numbers, then we'd be on. If we slice it thin and close in between, then we'll have made a lesser outside month. Right now, with only days to go, we seem to be striving to try to get down to the 18.345 level, but it's hard going. If we do manage to get there, what would be below? Well, the immediate support will be the 50% Fibonacci line for 2021 at 18.185. Then we have the now flatlining long moving average, currently 18,000 even. However, the key support to my mind would be the lower time, currently 17,750 of the October 2020 to March 2021 bullish shift pitchfork. Breaking this will break one of the key rocks on which the current rally has been raised. So caution. LME 3 month zinc. As I said here in my commentary some ooh, nine weeks ago, on the surface, this metal looked like a gently rising market, but here we have been, and maybe still are, having some significant forces at play, and all is not what it looks. Now, in recent weeks, the market has risen higher, sticking all the time to the broken May to date rising uptrend, currently at 31.56, at least to the underside of it. Now, I made the comment 12 weeks ago, uh, which has proved to be true, that such action is not incidental and clarified my thoughts thus, and I quote, seems to me that the market is currently trying to navigate up this uptrend, but it has at the steering wheel someone seemingly heavily inebriated, overcompensating on each day, as prices generally move in the direction that is wanted. This is not safe, nor can it last. I would urge caution for when the drunken driver of this market either stops or gets pulled over." End of quote. Now I also left targets uh, X1 and X2 on the daily chart. These were, still are I suppose, the initial and full target levels for the diamond continuation pattern formed over January to March this year. 
Uh, the market reached one small target X1 in the 3095 area each of the past three weeks, which I suppose is a feat in itself. Additionally, I had previously expressed doubts about the market having the impetus to reach target X2 in the 3215 area. And I was about to retire both these two a few times, but I kept them on just in case. The action during September has shown that the diamond pattern from much, much earlier this year has indeed been the driver for the moves higher. And until at le least this week, all other patterns have been subservient to that core pattern, moving the market higher. I also suspect that this diamond pattern had been the reason why prices had not triggered earlier possible bearish patterns when they should have. So, what's next? Two other things to consider. Last week's recovery, almost, I say almost, led to a weekly key reversal up. It wasn't the actual close at 31.12 which stopped it. That was fine. It was the high or lack of it. We needed to exceed 31.40 last week and all we managed was 31.38. Close, but no cigar. And being this close and failing means a lot. Additionally, the high last week and the two earlier weeks has now created not just the opportunity for a double top, but for a triple top as well. It's early yet, and we haven't uh, closed the door on a bullish hesitation pattern or even a diamond pattern, but the opportunity for a triple top is now there. Now, one final feature. The bearishness from early last week gave the opportunity for the market to move down and create a possible monthly key reversal. It needs, I suppose, well, still needs to, to move down below 29.15, which, given we had at the time last week just breached the medium moving average, currently at 29.91, might be possible. Well, since then, we've moved higher, and the idea of a monthly key reversal with so few days left in September seems to be highly unlikely. However, it's worth noting. The rising short medium moving average currently 30.09, the slowly rising long moving average currently 28.95, as well as the medium moving average in case prices move down just there after the month end, especially. It's also worth noting the potential target X3 below. This is a potential target should the action over the past two, now three weeks, turn out to be a small double or even triple top. Watch carefully. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives you central market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.